Hi, Year 3. This is our Monday English lesson. Now, um, for today's lesson, you're going to need your sharp pencil, your English book, your ruler and a plain piece of paper. So the paper needs to be separate from your book if possible. Now, um, I also I'm going to be giving you lots of instructions today with how to start off and plan your poster. So I need you to be listening really, really carefully to my instructions in this video. Remember, if you forget anything, you can wind the video back and that will give you a hand. Just check you've got those things now. OK, in your English book, can you jot down the date and LO, please? Pause the video. So today we are going to be designing our posters. OK, we're going to be thinking about the layout of our posters, what we're going to put where. And we're going to also be deciding what information we want to use on our posters. So let's recap the features of a poster first. Um, and your your layout, your design might look similar to this. It might look a bit different but we must have the same features on our poster. So let's just recap what those are. So see if you can find the things I'm talking about on the screen. So we always have a title, um, a big title, normally at the top of our poster. So just pop your eyes where the title is. We've then got an introduction which just gives us a little bit of information, a little bit of an overview about what the poster is about. We've then got some subtitles. So just pop your eyes on where the subtitles are. They are purple. Give you a bit of a clue. And then um, we've got pictures, haven't we, on this poster? We've got captions that tell us about a picture. Sometimes they look a bit like paragraphs, don't they? They could be called information boxes, I suppose, where they tell us about something and give us some more information. We've got a fact box. See if you can find that with your eyes. A did you know box, we could call it. And we've got a glossary. Remember, a glossary tells us the meaning of tricky words that we might have come across in the poster. Brilliant. We should be fairly familiar now with these features. We've used them before, we've looked at them last week, and we should be pretty familiar with those. We are going to be including all of these features into our posters. Now, today, your job is to design your poster. So for this part of the activity, you're going to need your plain piece of paper. We're just going to jot some things on there as a, as a plan, okay? so. We've got our key features here, look. So I've got them on the side here. We've got all those key features we've just been talking about. Now imagine that this big rectangle is your piece of paper. We're going to imagine that's what our post is going to look like. So you can now design where you put things. Um, so I'm going to do mine. You might do the same, or you might want to change yours slightly. No problem. So just listen to me doing mine first. So. I want the main title to be at the top and in the middle. That's pretty standard, isn't it? We have that often in a poster and often on pieces of writing that we want to be eye-catching. Then I'm going to have my introduction underneath, I think, for mine. Um, and then I'm going to have a paragraph here. So I need a subtitle to start off this little paragraph. Um, and then that's going to be a caption, actually. That's going to be a piece of writing that's going to be a caption. Um, and I'm going to have a picture in this box so that my caption matches the picture. I quite like that, that they're all together. And then um, I'm going to have another subtitle. I'm going to have another paragraph here. You're going to have two paragraphs or two information boxes on yours as well. Um, and then I'm going to have my caption and I'm going to put my picture here, which matches the, the next caption as well. Um, I do want a fact box. I might put my fact box here. 
and then I might put my glossary at the bottom there. That's how I'm going to do mine. So um, I'd like you now to pause the video and to design your poster. I would recommend putting the title at the top somewhere. I would recommend popping the introduction very close to the title. And then the other parts you can arrange how you wish. OK, uh, we must all have two paragraphs of writing. Um, a bit like um, the features you can see on my screen here. So pause the video, use your blank piece of paper just to jot where you're going to put things. You don't need to worry about drawing boxes and things. That's that's fine. You can do that later. So pause the video and do that now. Brilliant. Well done. I want to show you um, an example of what um, our posters might look like at the end. So for the children in school, this is what I've made for them. You might make yourself something a bit like this, and we'll talk about that in a moment, how to do it. So just so you know, this is what I've done for the children in school. They've got um, a space for their title at the top, and they're going to have their introduction here. And then they've got their two boxes for pictures, their paragraphs, and two little boxes underneath that they can do as they wish with. Now, your design might look a bit different to this one, and that's fine. But I just want to show you this one, just so you've got an example of what um, the layout might look like um, a bit later on. OK. Now, we need to have a think today about how you're going to do your poster, because um, some of you are very good with the computers and you're re you've had lots of experience on the computers and you might choose to do your poster on a computer. Some of you might prefer to do it written. Now we've also got to think about as well, some of you have adult support and some of you don't. So we need to really think about that um, and that needs to, needs to inform our choice of what we want to do because it depends if you've got help or if you haven't. Okay, it doesn't matter if you don't have help, but we need to make sure that you're choosing a way that's going to be um, that you're going to be able to achieve on your own. So, top tip. What I wouldn't do is write directly onto your piece of paper that you want to be the poster because you're going to run out of room. It's just going to, it's not going to be organised in the way we want it. So, all of our posters are probably going to look a bit different. So, we need to make a decision now. Have a think now whether you're whether you're very good working a Word document, because one option is to create your poster on a Word document, but you need to know a few things about a Word document in order to do it, or you need to have some adult help to do that option. The other option is to do it on a PowerPoint. Again, you need to know a lot about how to use PowerPoint, or you need to have an adult available to help you with PowerPoint if you'd like to choose that option. The third option is to handwrite it, which is what the children in school are going to be doing. And that's absolutely fine if you want to handwrite it. So if you think, oh, I'm, I haven't had a lot of experience on computers, I might need a lot of help, um, and there's no one around me to help me really during the day, I would choose a handwritten poster. OK, that would be your best option. So. Let me just show you what this might look like. Um, so if I just show you, I stop presenting now. Uh, there we go. So you should be able to see me again now. So um, this is my template that I'm using at school with the children. I've done it on A3 paper actually, but you don't have to. Well, you could stick to for A4 pages together, couldn't you, to do your make your poster a little bit bigger. So as you can see, I've got a line for the title. I've got little um, little lines where we're going to be doing our writing. And I've got some nice clear boxes for the pictures and things. Now, let me show you how I would do it if I was you. So I would get some lined paper if you've got any. OK, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out a way of doing this if you haven't got a pad of lined paper. And what I would do is I would cut it up into little sections. So you've got little sections that might look like this. 
and they could be where your paragraphs go, couldn't they? And all then you need to do is have your blank piece of paper and you could arrange them, couldn't you, where you want them on the paper to create your poster. So um, what I would do is I cut out maybe a few of those if you're choosing this option. Um, maybe pop them in a little plastic wallet if you've got one, pop them in. And each time we do a little bit more of our poster, you can write on these and at the end, you can organise it and stick them all on to make your paste, your finished poster onto your piece of paper. I think that would probably be the best way of doing it. Um, if you've got another way of doing it, um, you're absolutely fine to give it a go. Okay, I just wanted to support you and give you lots of ideas so you had, um, you had some choice. So I'd like you now to pause the video and have a little think about how you're going to do this. Okay, what's the best way for you of doing it? Now, if you're in school, I will I will show you the way we're doing it. So you don't need to make any decisions. OK. Today, we are going to be adding in our titles. OK, so I'm hoping by now you've got your way of how you're going to do your poster. Today, we're going to add in the titles. So we've got a main title and we've got subtitles in a poster. Can you remember what the difference is between the two? Have a think. Yeah, so the main title is going to be normally right at the top and it actually gives us um, a title for the whole poster, doesn't it? Whereas subtitles, they're, um, they're further down in the poster. They're often maybe written a bit smaller and they're more about what the paragraph's about rather than what the whole poster's about. So we are going to quickly look at our model again and we're going to have a little closer look at those subtitles and the main title. So if we have a look here, have a look at the main title. So the main title in this model says Life in Ancient Egypt. So I'd like you now to pause the video and um, write in either um, on your PowerPoint presentation if you're doing one, on your Word document if you've chosen that way, or on a piece of paper that goes into your plastic wallet, your title. Your title needs to be quite big, OK? Um, so it might be um, life in ancient Rome. Or it might be all about the Romans. So have a think and you're going to create that title now. Um, you may use bubble writing if you can do bubble writing. If you can't, then you'll need to just create your um, nice big title in another way. All right, so pause the video and do that now. Okay, doke, now let's look at these subtitles here. Um, what sort of sentences are these subtitles? They're a very special type of sentence. Have a think. Yeah, they're questions, aren't they? How was society organised? And it tells us how it was organised. What happened at markets? And then it tells us a little bit about the markets. So we're going to write our subtitles in the same way. And we're going to write them as questions. So let's go back to the part I wanted us to spend time on. Oh yeah, here. So you have created this, um, these, this, these notes, haven't you, which look like um, this worksheet here. So on this worksheet, you, you've created some notes, you've written them in. I'd like you now to choose two of these boxes, two themes. And you're going to write a paragraph on one of those themes and another paragraph on one of those themes. So you need to choose two of them. Let's say, for example, you chose homes and you chose um, the army. OK, let's say, for example, you chose those two. Your poster might look a bit like this. What were their homes like? Can you see how I've written that into a question? And then underneath, I talk about what their homes were like. Um, for the, my other idea, um, what did Roman soldiers wear? And then I would write a paragraph about what Roman soldiers wore. So you're going to look back at your notes now. You're going to think, what 
two themes would I like to write my paragraphs about for my poster? I would choose themes that you know a lot about or themes where you have a lot of notes about that will help you the most. And then I'd like to see if you can pop it into a question and make them subtitles for your poster. And you can now, before we finish the lesson, you can now type those into your Word document or PowerPoint if you're using those ways. Or a bit like what I've done here, you can write them into what your post is going to look like with your pencil. Um, if you're doing some collecting in your wallet, your plastic wallet, it might be that you write these subheadings maybe at the top of one of these paragraph pieces of paper. If I stop presenting again, it might be that you write your um, subtitles just across the top of something like this. And then when we get on to writing the paragraph, you can just continue down your page. OK, so pause the video and um, in fact, I'm going to finish the video now. I want to just make sure that you have written or got prepared your title, your main title and two subheadings which are written as questions for your poster. OK, so I hope you were really listening to this one today. There was a lot of instructions, wasn't there? Don't forget to wind it back if you need to. Just make sure you've done those things that we talked about and then we'll pause there for today. OK, well done. If you've got any really pressing questions about this, um, you know where I am. Just message me on Dojo. OK, fab. I will see you later. <laughs>